Hello everybody and welcome back to Politics Now where I talk about modern politics in modern America. Today I'm going to be giving my first presidential prediction for 2024 and we are going to assume that the candidates are Trump and Biden which seeing the polls in both primaries it seems very likely this will be the matchup. We'll basically have another 2020 again. And so let's get started. Before we get into this, I gotta say, off the bat, Trump has a pretty easy advantage against Biden. Almost every single national poll, it has him well up. He's actually gone up a lot during the past few weeks due to the recent indictments. Last time I checked, he was at 1.2 over Biden, now he's at 2.4. And a ton of these polls, if you see down here, a lot of the really accurate polls that people look towards they have trump beating biden by a lot or they're either at a tie it is not looking good for biden overall and the polls typically underestimate republicans so if that's true this election cycle then biden is completely screwed anyways let's get to the map so let's start off with the safe red states we have the usual ones where basically nobody lives and they're guaranteed red states all of nebraska the first and third districts are easy red states and then we have kansas oklahoma all of the all of these states where basically i can't see them going any other way than red you have stuff like west virginia and and i would even put florida in this category and ohio because at this point I don't really see them going to Democrat anytime, especially Florida. It has moved to the right a lot in the past few years. Oh yeah, you got to put Indiana. And that is what we have for the safe red states overall. They have their usual ones. These will never ever vote blue in any recent cycle or at least this one. And then we move on to the safe blue states. You got to put California there. Oregon, Washington, New Mexico, I have to put Colorado there. Colorado has moved so far to the left that I cannot see it ever voting red again or for the meantime. You got to put the second, the first, you got to put the second district for Nebraska. The map is drawn so they basically have an easy one point. Minnesota, I don't know why so many people put Minnesota as like a, like a likely or a lean because they are just completely gone. Minneapolis basically controls the entire state, which includes Illinois. They are two states where the heavy blue district controls the entire state. It immediately trumps all the other red, red counties or even lean counties. And you gotta put New England up there. New England is a pretty safe bet. Actually, I'll put New Hampshire as a lean because there's a lot of Republican voters there. You gotta put all these other ones. New Jersey, I can't see that flipping anytime soon. Delaware, Maryland, it they're all lost, gone. They're all gone. You Republicans won't get them this cycle at all, and I don't think they'll ever get them anytime soon. And you got to put D.C. That's pretty much always been a Democrat stronghold because the supporters there are all going to be hardline Democrats. Despite the governor of Virginia going to Republicans in the recent cycle, I can't see them voting Republican in this election. It might be a lot more contentious than previous elections, but I can't see them voting not Democrat. But I'll put it in the lean the likely column because there are still clearly Republican voters in Virginia. And of course you gotta put the first district for Maine and then it's pretty likely that all of Maine goes to the Democrats because like New Hampshire, there's more Republican voters there than the other New England states, but they're not really gonna change the outcome. I could see it happening for Maine and New and New Hampshire, but I just don't I'm just not betting on it. But you got to put the second district there because that's where all, a lot of the red voters live because the 
blue section just completely outbids the red voters. And yeah, that's pretty much for the safe blue states and the likely blue states. Now we go on to the likely red states. You have Texas. It's not it's not really going to the blue states. I there's a lot of the voters on the border, but outside of that, it's not really going to leave the red the red belt anymore anymore. With trends, I could see some blue votes increasing there, but for now, it's pretty much a safe red state. It's not changing allegiance anytime soon. You gotta put Alaska there. Alaska is a very weird thing where they will vote blue a lot, but for presidential elections, they'll go red. Kind of like the New England states where they'll vote in the midterms for Republicans and then presidential, they'll go hardline Democrat. It It's just weird. It's politics. So, of course, it's going to be a little bit bizarre. North Carolina, there's been a lot of Republican wins there, and I can't really see them going to blue for the presidential cycle. I could see it for the midterms in 2026, but I, I just can't see them voting for Joe Biden, especially since Donald Trump is on the ticket, and he turns out a lot of voters that would not vote Republican if it wasn't for Donald Trump. And now we get into, oh yeah, you gotta put Iowa. It's not going blue anytime soon. It's getting more and more red. It's kind of like Florida, but those farmers, they really turn out for Republicans now, and I can't see it voting blue in the in the vast majority of elections for the next 10 years. Unless something major happens, I can't see them voting blue. And now we get on to the leans and the close calls. So for blue leans, sorry, Michigan, I can't, I can't say that Donald Trump wins it. He'll probably make it a close call, but... I don't think he can win it for this cycle. It's gone so far to the left with Detroit and all that. I can't see him winning this. It's sorry. It's just too gone. Maybe he'll pull an upset like how he did in 2016, but for now, he's not winning it. Oh yeah, I forgot to put Hawaii. That's a safe blue state. I don't think it will ever change in the meantime. It's kind of like New England and... California, it really doesn't vote any different. And then for Wisconsin, I'm actually going to put it in the leans category because it is very interesting, but the Republican leadership there has gotten a lot better over the years, and it has turned more towards the Republican camp, and I can totally see it getting into the likely column in future elections. But Wisconsin is heading right towards the Republican camp, kind of like how Michigan is heading towards the Democrat camp. And I can totally see totally see it becoming a redder and redder state the more elections that happen. Pennsylvania. Ooh. Uh, so Pennsylvania is very weird because it I would if this was any other candidate for Republican, I would easily give this to Joe Biden. I would say that it would be close, but Joe Biden would get it because the Republican base in there is not strong enough to defeat the Democrats. But Donald Trump, he does something different. He has a very large support base in Pennsylvania and the Rust Belt that manages to get him the victory in the state. So I'm going to call this as a close call for the Republican Party. I don't think they're going to win it in any future elections. It's just it's just too far gone. It's becoming so similar to the other New England blue states that I can't really see it voting Republican again. If there's another Republican candidate that can turn out Donald Trump's base, maybe. But for now, I can't really see them continuing with their Pennsylvania wins. And then we have Georgia. I think he might be able to get a Republican win there before it goes to the Democrats. 
I think this might be the last election cycle that Georgia votes Republican. It's just gone blue so fast, and I can't really see it voting red for the next elections past 2024. And then we have the two deciding states, okay? Trump already has won, but these states are very important to win because they would represent a major loss for the Democrats if they lost the states, and they would represent a major win for Republicans if they won both of these states. And I am going to say that Nevada has gone very, 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 very far to the Republican base as it has become from a leans blue state all the way to a beginning red state. I could totally see this becoming more red like Wisconsin. Maybe not as much. The Democrats can probably win the state in future cycles, but it is becoming less and less likely that Democrats can win in that state. But Arizona is different. Arizona, I... I don't think that Donald Trump is ever going to win Arizona. He might be able. It might be like Michigan where he can pull an upset. But I do not see him winning Arizona. Nevada is already pushing it and Georgia is really pushing it. But Arizona, I do not see him winning that. It's just, it's just too close to Colorado, New Mexico, and California that I can't really see Republicans winning that state. But there you go. Donald Trump barely edges out a win against Joe Biden in a very divided country. And he wins a few key states that nets him the victory. Joe Biden, he's just so unpopular that I don't see him winning this election. It would probably be very close because our country is so divided, but you gotta remember these polls. They are absolutely brutal for Biden. If he has a 2.4 lead... Donald Trump will probably win the popular vote, and that is not good for Biden. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you think that Joe Biden could win, or do you think that Donald Trump could win even more? Make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.